Hello and welcome to a deep dive on mission control response templates. My name is Kavita. I'm on the product management team for mission control here to teach you a little bit today about what a response template is in mission control and how it can help you organize your SOC processes. We're starting off in the mission control incident review page. We're going to go ahead and select an incident that we're interested in. So we're going to click into the second tab here. This is the home for response templates within an incident. Uh, in this case, I have a response template encoded PowerShell detection response applied to this incident. Not only does Mission Control allow you to use response templates to outline what your SOC processes and tasks are, but we take it one step further and actually allow you to be able to embed capabilities that might help the analyst actually complete the task. So those uh, capabilities are come, come in three forms. Uh, they're either automation actions, automation playbooks, or Splunk searches. These three capabilities uh, can be embedded into any task uh, in any number and can help the analyst actually complete the task. So in this first task, decode encoded strings, I have a playbook embedded here. In this case, it's the process analysis playbook. I can choose any playbook that I've created. What the user will see once I've configured uh, the response template and applied it is just this little play button. The user can hit the run playbook button with that little play button. And you can see that it's kicked off uh, the playbook, this process analysis playbook, which is now running. So instead of the user having to go and do anything themselves, you can see that all this autom automation ran for them automatically. In this case, it added a note, but it could do uh, a myriad of things, anything that you'd like it to do using the automation engine. My next task here has a Splunk search embedded. So this is a little bit different. Let's come back to our response template configuration view and see what it looks like. In the second task, you can see that I've got an embedded search. Now uh, I can define the search here and the actual search syntax, or I can even pull from an existing save search. So over the years of using Splunk, if you have many safe searches, you can just embed them into your tasks directly, or you can define a, a search right here. The plus task button allows you to document any work that might be ad hoc. So in this way, whether you're following exactly what the steps are in the process or your process investigation requires you to deviate a little bit, all your work can be documented in one place. Now for especially complicated investigations, Mission Control allows you to apply multiple response templates. So you can use this little down arrow to manage templates here. And I can add multiple response templates if I need to. In case my investigation has shifted, I now need to do a different type of investigation, follow a different SOP, et cetera. We provide a nifty little capability for you to be able to publish your response template. So if you're just working on a change, you can leave them in draft and toggle this to published whenever you want your analyst to actually use it. And we encourage you to try out mission control and ask any questions you might have. Thank you.